their their uppers remember all the hoka shoes of like three years ago they would always tear right here in the vamp this is called the vamp Oh, I'm just laughing down here at my, well, you know, by myself in the basement. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to the basement. We're knocking out these shoe reviews now. Hoka Xenol in for testing. Um, man, where to even begin, okay? A trail shoe from Hoka, new on the scene in 2021. All right, putting it into the, more so into the racing category, but I'll come back to that in a minute, all right? A neutral trail race. It's twisted. All right, we'll do the twist. We'll do the dance. All right, let's get the get the music going. It's twisting, not crazy, but it is twisting as I, I put it through the paces there. Looking at a five millimeter drop, 32 in the heel, 27 in the forefoot. It frankly doesn't feel like that type of stack height though. I'll just put it out there right now. It feels lower, okay? But 32 and 27 for that stack height. Uh, moving on to women's size eight, men's size nine. There it is, soak it in. And let's put it on the scale just to confirm. I believe we're looking at about seven. Yeah, I'm getting 7.76, 7.8 in my size. Wah, wah, wah. What I was doing at the beginning, I was blowing a whistle. That's what I was doing. Relegation time. So just so you're aware, we have now officially pivoted to 25 miles and 2,500 feet of vertical gain and loss to qualify for a full review for trail shoes, okay? It's official now because road shoes are way easier to get to 50 miles, all right? So 25 and 2,500. So we are relegating. It's not, and there is the mileage on your screen. Almost made it, but no, it's done. Stick a fork in the Zinal. It is not going to 25 miles. More on that in one second. Looking at an engineered mesh lockdown butter. <laughs> Lockdown's amazing. Mach 4, anybody? The Mach 4 is calling and wants to hang out with his or her cousin. All right, this is a Mach 4 type of lock. If you like the Mach 4 lockdown and feel on top of the foot, boom, this is the trail shoe for you overall score though for the upper is going down just a little bit okay below average not a bad heel counter but um not the best collar not the best lockdown through the heel pocket it almost you know what's interesting the depth it's almost like there's not enough depth and not enough height i feel like my ankle especially on the trails just wants a little more support through that call like i want to bump this up a little bit i want my heel to go further into the shoe that is why the score is dropping a little bit for but man that that oh, oh gosh let me just confirm here yeah semi gusset it just oh it's so reminiscent of that mach 4 midsole we're looking at a cm eva and rubberized eva uh it's that compression molded eva and durometer okay no no no, ride and energy return, not so hot. Seven and a half out of 10, which for a racing shoe, it's just not a great score, okay? You wanna at least be in the eights for a racing shoe. It's just, it's just not, oh, EVA. It's, it's not doing it in 2021 for a racing shoe especially, okay? We'll come back to that as well in a minute. Overall score, it's just a little firm and no pop. It's, I'm not feeling pop 
through the foot strike. I'm so sorry, uh, Hoka. We need more for a racing shoe. I'm just calling out the EVA like a CMEVA, like I see it, like I feel it underfoot. It just is like, it's hard. It's, it's not... Uh, it's not giving it back to me. Now, 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 if you prefer a firmer ride for your race, like a really kind of firm ride, boom, this might be the shoe for you. But for me, I want a little more bounce and a little more energy, a lot more energy return through my racing, trail racing shoe, midsoles. Outsole, 6.75 out of 10. Man, uh, I just think the lug pattern is something to be desired. I would not be comfortable going on any sort of terrain that is very aggressive. Like I'm, I'm, I'd be a little nervous. And frank, frankly, it's kind of reminding me a little bit of the Pulsar from Solomon. Just like we need a little more grip, a little more bite in the mountain. Now, 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 now. If you're racing on buffed out trails, awesome. Okay, I got to qualify that. Most of my racing is pretty aggressive, big mountains. But if you're racing trails that are more tame, a little more buffed out, then yeah, I would say that this outsole will do better. So I want to put that out there right now, okay? Fit true to size and butter. Awesome, okay? Heel pocket, okay? No, 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 not the best, but I mean everything at just awesome. Eyelet chain, toe box, just, oh yeah, let's do the toe cap just while I'm thinking about it. Okay, it's flexing a little more than I expected, uh, but nice overlay here through, through the toe box. Oh man, I think Hoka is... I don't want to say finally figured out their 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 uppers. Remember all the Hoka shoes of like three years ago? They would always tear right here in the vamp. This is called the vamp of the upper on either side here. A huh? little uh, uh, little vocabulary for today here in the uh, basement. All right, so the vamp would always tear, but finally I think Hoka has really figured out their uppers in a big big way. All right, positive is the tongue, is the lockdown drawback, is the midsole. All right, no, don't have to repeat myself too much there. Durability prediction, 400 miles. And the biggest reason, it's a pretty good score, is that I think that midsole is going to actually go the distance because it's a little firmer. I don't think it's going to break down. I wish it would almost, I'd almost wish it would break down a little quicker, meaning just a little more forgiveness underfoot. Now, yeah, so if you want to buy a racing shoe that's decent weight, I mean, not great weight, but decent weight, uh, that you could use, frankly, over multiple seasons. Pinch those pennies. I'm all about that. I, I really, and I think the upper is not going to tear on you. I really think you could use this for four, five, six, seven trail races and get some good quality. Now, I'm not like 50Ks, 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 but uh, I think you get some good quality racing out of this shoe over multiple seasons. Okay, moving on to how will I use this shoe? Who is it best for? I'd be more in the more in the direction of tempo days, kind of upper pace, not an FKT shoe by any means, but an upper, you know, up tempo day out there on the trails for training is how I will use this shoe. But who is it best for? Um, a little bit of a lower drop on the trails and again, more in that firmer ride category. Um, yeah, gosh, did it even qualify for the trail running shoe matrix? You let me know up right hand corner. Go watch that matrix. I can't even remember if the Xenol qualified for the trail running shoe matrix price point 160. You know, there's my score. Little rough, little rough 160. I'd like to see that. I mean, it. yeah, yeah. These days it's kind of a standard score, but given what you're getting out of it, I'm going to put it in the sixes for my score. Other shoes to buy. Oh, oh, the Pulsar. Actually, it's behind me. You can't quite see it, but it's back there. The winner, winner, chicken dinner for the Pikes Peak Marathon. I would buy that shoe. I know it is, what, 180, 190, so it's about $20 more expensive. I would buy the Pulsar so much faster. Should we do it? Let's do it. I can't resist. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Bear with me. Okay. Six ounce. I think it was actually a little. I think it was actually a little, uh, a little lighter. I think it was like 5.8, 5.9 on another scale. Anyway, two ounces lighter, almost two ounces, roughly. I mean, it's just so much lighter, so much bouncier, so much just like more forgiving underfoot. Oh, Pulsar all the way. Even I think the upper. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Love, love, love the Pulsar. Okay, shoe quick specs on your screen for the. Hoka Zinal, soak them in one more time. Oh, my, my. Engineered mesh, CMEVA, and rubberized EVA combination. 
160 price point relegation score heartbreaker it's the perfect score it's the perfect score 7.1 i think is what it was at that's the perfect score that is a relegation score probably got to be at least a 7.5 for me to take any shoe but trail shoe past 25 miles okay there you go comment of the day question of the day for all of you being pulled from the i don't even remember but here we go kevin hogler runs says i was diagnosed with ms when i was 18 years old almost eight years ago when when i am at the start line i think of all those that unfortunately can't run because of ms and all those that suffer from ms i look at me being able to run with ms ms as a major gift kevin Thanks for just being a little vulnerable, sharing a little bit of your story with us. That's amazing. Um, I mean, let, I mean, everyone, cheer for Kevin. I mean, that's amazing. Uh, man, I hope we get to meet someday, Kevin. I hope you're watching right now. Thank you for being here. Thanks for taking the time to, again, share a little bit of your story. And that's what, you know, shoe reviews are great. But at the end of the day, we're all just turning the doorknob, you know, oh, pushing ourselves, working hard challenge yeah oh so kevin unbelievable okay here we go question of the day what do you hope never changes you know what immediately just popped into my mind was like baseball i love history i love america's pastime and i feel like they're trying to speed up the game i go to baseball games to chill out to slow life down a little bit do not speed baseball up no, please like I, I just want to go and turn off the phone you know put back a cold one eat a hot dog come on come on that's what i hope never changes i look forward to reading your answers down below in the comments oh we're buttering it today in the basement everybody thanks for being here thanks for watching hope is in our relegation review in the books we will toss it to um you know hmm We'll do the whole, I guess we'll do the Hoka running shoe playlist. If you're, you know, in catch up mode for Hoka running shoe reviews, right here, right here, right here. Hoka running shoe reviews, right here, right here, right here. All right, everyone, onward and upward. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.